Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to the to our new series in which we're gonna play as uh, as Ghana, as High Chief Zomena of Ghana. And we're gonna try to spread West African faith as much as we could and also we would try to to break free from the Sunnis or Sunnis and Shias who is stopping us from from be from our having might and being strange being strong I should say not strange and yeah that's probably all the goals but we're gonna <coughs> make it by the strange ways I try I find out that it's gonna be fun but you will you will know what this ways is a few minutes later but now we what we need to do is to get married of course wow and we're gonna we have a lot of quick women here that's nice you should be mine and we of course should take prestige and let's have let's improve our marshal for now and the first <laughs> first crazy thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna immediately swear fealty to the Byzantine Empire and yes and now I will explain why first of all I already tried to play as a Ghana as a West African fate and Songhe Song I also tried to and it's quite impossible to do anything from here and against Idrisids because they are just too overpowered even now they have 3k troops in year 867 and there is no chance we could attack the him or we could attack them or him by ourselves and also we need to be a part of Byzantine Empire to have protection from attacks because they probably will be or oh, will be too feared to attack Byzantine Empire and also we we will have a chance to become a Basileos or we will not have a chance we will actually try to do it also as one of the goals of the series so yeah you just become the part of Byzantine Empire and that's awesome and also <laughs> amount of our troops just become very small our troops become very small even with this four holdings we have ourselves but with all this we are just being lucky having made this touch and our wife also have no we will not be we will not become a Shia. You actually at, w <laughs> at some time will become a West African I hope. So what I was talking about yes with our nice wife we now have five domain limit so we should try to kill one of our vessels and have one more holding to be able to subjugate Sonhei I think or no for now so mm, we could use the subjugation only once or per our lifetime so what I want to do is I want to have this island for myself and we are able to declare the subjugation on them and I want to do it because it also one of the reasons because you couldn't expand because you have no water access and only guy you are boarding is this Sunni Idrisid who is overpowered so 
we're gonna need this island for making ships and being able to move around the map and conquest some more some more lands for ourselves so yeah I will probably should I take some concubines or no I will probably wait until my wife will have a ch child and hopefully he will be quick and then I will take concubines to have my heir being a quick or at least have a chance but yeah let's now pick the province we want to have for ourselves I already looked a little bit a few seconds ago and probably Bambuk or Mali is the best who has more troops they have almost the same but Bambuk have more troops and a little bit more techs even though Mali have one free holdings we will try to kill this guy chief of Bambuk and hopefully someone will help us with this because it looks like not really a lot of people liking us for now let's see why nothing really special to dislike us a little bit short train and with it we still have uh, we still have honorary titles to give so let's let's have our let's um, a row make them a row by total strange and what are you waiting for yes he's considering about plot let's have them buy total strange and give this honorary titles to the strongest ones or maybe to our chiefs I should I should do it let's see let's wait for this guy to answer and let's give you at uh, the best one he will be my champion and the master of the ball probably enough for you and you you probably also should have some something like master of the blade and cup bearer maybe wasn't you a chief of bambook looks like <laughs> I just give titles to the guys that I'm trying to kill that was stupid but I already done it so let's just or maybe if no one wants to help me kill this guy oh <laughs> I'm already having Mali by myself that was awkward to trying to take it so we could try to kill my Mysticus and have Jenna and also shouldn't oh our <laughs> true count just fallen and fallen yes let's don't forget to to set our council to do their job let's improve yes oh so much things to don't don't forget we're gonna try to lower crown authority as fast as we could in this kingdom because we want them to have a elective succession to give us a chance on having having ourselves in the throne of Byzantine Empire and so our council should work on the taking some guys into our plots and hopefully the strongest one once so let's work on them improve relations scheme and my general or strategist should train troops 
of course in the capital collect taxes and improve relations with our bishops and yes let's see how much plot power we have to kill you just no at all that's sad we need to try we need to kill at least one until they will have their own children and how much troops this island have two seven two hundred and seventy and we I'm I'm gonna reach it by having mercenaries because in this I don't know why but when you're playing as as the Ghana you only able to have such kind of mercenaries and they only ho have 100 galleys I don't know the reason of this because I think it's really stupid mercenary type but we could use them to reach this island and have it so let's actually start to play at least because I probably talk too much for now it will be would be very useful to have you on our side in this plot but it's probably yes we couldn't bribe you that's sad okay it could be in the scheming bar just for now yeah let's ransom this prestelitizer guy we are actually now couldn't attack some here thanks to this stupid museum crown law authority because we are from having about 900 troops we are just lower to 500 so it will be also useful to lower, lower crown authority Hopefully someone will help us. Yeah, he is already trying to please us by making us a Coro Palates. I don't know who is this, but it sounds very pleasing. Let's have some more speed and think about this guy. With our 500, is actually 600 with muscles. We could both jump on him. No, give him a chance. We could both bump him and probably we will win, but I don't actually know. We're gonna have a lot of a lot of difficulties with this. And what do you want? It's my wife wants to love me yes I'm gonna spend 10 gold on this because we need to have our son and hopefully quick one fire and the marshal event always good and last time I tried to play this also business and empire started <laughs> his own wars for holy wars for this province so it also will be helpful to have him on our side and then after we will grow and have some have some power we will be able to yes my my armies will crush the opposite side yes i was talking about becoming strong and then when we will become strong we will be able to declare independence and probably will win it but now we are just increased our marshal and that's very nice do we want to become anyone like a secularius or someone or just have a son no, let's just let's try to become a secularist for no reason 
and maybe we should yes our forces is growing for some reason I also don't know because I already set it my strategy to train troops a little time ago so and no it just yes it's it's grow because my martial ability grow and now we have on your martial skill only minus five percent and a few seconds ago it was probably something like minus 10 or 15 wait I want to be to become a scholar hey what we're getting for this to learn and nice and yeah no more my gears nice nice hungry not really big now it will they will expand I think and also saying about learning we need some shipbuilding I will probably take this island and make it my capital to have the uh, technology spread in, in there because to build at least few ships we need at least one level in shipbuilding. So to have a little bit action in this first episode we should probably declare, the, declare this war just right now. We are now having enough money to to be able to hire these boats, so yes, let's go and subjugate Canaris. Subjugation of Mauritania. And we are gonna just march our troops to this coast and then hire boats because they are spawning just right here. Not in our capital because we have <laughs> no ocean here, but it was would be fun if <laughs> if I just spawned here and my wife pregnant good job wifey hopefully it's a boy and even without even without scheming we're now having some guys in our faction and <laughs> this stupid leash trying to revoke my country and I'm gonna decline and let's see what you will do. Now we are having a lot more troops for our war. So let's just re-race re a little bit. And this guy <laughs> will have no chance of winning this war. Because we are too far away. Even if, if, even if he has boats and I don't think so he wouldn't be able to to do anything to us and we are gaining chicken war score for heaven for controlling all our holdings so when we win this war against tyranny of this idiot he gonna lose his title to Leon Makedon this nice two years old boy and Lo and crown of Soros, he will just oh uh, be implemented as uh, autonomous vessels so it's awesome but now we're gonna we need to subjugate canaries and hopefully no one will attack us while we're revolting ag against our leash and earlier a few few days from start of the revolt we already have 10% of war score so it's nice <laughs> it's very nice situation for us because he couldn't do anything to to us and we have a daughter but she's not even quick it's sad and <laughs> I still have the ability to become steward even though I am a I am revolting. Okay, let's become a friends with some guy. Yes, we have a daughter. As I said already, she isn't. 
week now for now so hopefully <laughs> second time you'll do it it will be a man and it will be he will be quick you should try harder my wife and she is zealous also it's nice hopefully no one will convert her this this is one of the problems of swearing fealty to the Basilius that he'll be trying to convert us and our goal is to stay West African. So we are marched here, let's auto balance our troops, let's not have me leading the troops, I don't want to die too soon and let's hire these boats. I will end this war in this episode and end this episode also. Let's let's have you guys faster. Hopefully we could Yes and now let's disband to not spend any more money because having them <laughs> costs 90 gold per month. And even with this ambitious landing, I hope with three flanks we could easily crush him. Yes, we could. And now just seize, just seize, <laughs> sorry, siege this one holding with the consumption in it. And we will become a <laughs> sea, sea country. We will have our way to the sea. Sadly that oh, we are not being able to to how does it called to raid because we are vassal of Byzantine Emperor and he is not allow us to raid but still it's the price we should pay for stay alive in this cruel world surrounded by all this Sunnis who wants to subjugate, convert and holy war on you. So this siege almost ended. He's now getting some chicken war score, but not for long. Because we're already at his gates. And soon you will be my vassal I think. Or it will it will become my own holding, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, we sieged it and let's enforce the mats. Yay! And now it's my own holding. It's perfect. So it will be enough for this first episode. So if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And I will see you later, guys. Bye bye.